This is what remains of Aljeli Abdullah's home in Sudan's southeastern Blue Nile state. He's searching for any personal belongings he can salvage. Most were burned in fighting between members of his Hamaj tribe and the Hausa. We were surprised on Friday morning by members of the Hausa tribe attacking us and burning property, so we had to flee. My brother was killed right here. We found his body hacked to pieces. Now we're homeless and the situation is really tough. Tension peaked when the Hausa tried to establish a tribal administration and laid claim to land. Other tribes resisted. Fighting broke out and left dozens dead. Blue Nile State has seen repeated violence in the past decades, with fighting between government and rebel forces resulting in mass displacements. While a peace deal was signed in 2020 to end the violence, the latest cycle of tribal clashes seems to show that the state is far from permanent stability. Thousands have fled their homes, and the housing communities in several states have protested against the violence. Some tribal elders in Blue Nile believe it's politically motivated. There are armed groups that want to broaden their base in preparation for elections, and they thought that they can mobilize tribes. It's unfortunate the Hausa responded. We had repeatedly called on them not to be part of this, but they didn't listen. State authorities say the perpetrators will be prosecuted. Blue Nile has long been a state with a diverse group of tribes. We urge all citizens to not listen to rumors or speeches that incite hate and anger and to preserve unity between the residents. Al-Jili wants those responsible for burning down his home and killing his brother held accountable. But he says he's not sure if justice will be enough to end the anger and the violence. Hiba Morgan Al Jazeera, Rosaris in Blue Nile State.